Overnight, he has become an attraction, a novelty, a freak. In this 1935 film, based on the life of Zelig, called The Changing Man, the atmosphere is best summed up. We can't give up custody of Leonard. I know if I'm given the chance, I can cure him. It's no use. Even our attorney says it's hopeless. Really, Dr. Fletcher? May I call you Eudora? I tell you, somewhere behind that vacuous face, that zombie-like stare is a real human being, and I can bring it out. How? I'll think of some new way, some technique. Whatever it is, it'll have to be personal. There's not much I can do legally. I'll try, but... They don't care about him. They'll exploit him. All they see in him is a chance to make more money. Look at this. Already they're selling this Leonard Zellick doll. The film did not exaggerate. There were not only Leonard Zellig pens and lucky charms, but clocks and toys. There were Leonard Zellig watches and books and a famous Leonard Zellig doll. There were aprons, chameleon-shaped earmuffs, and a popular Leonard Zellig game. Everybody go chameleon. Everybody show chameleon. Take a test or slow chameleon. Chameleon, chameleon days. Everybody think chameleon. Uh, every time you blink chameleon. In your kitchen sink chameleon. Chameleon, chameleon days. There's so much fun there. There were many popular songs inspired by Leonard Zelig, tunes that swept the nation. I want you for myself alone. And at the lizard, see him running across the floor, see him skittering out the door. You have such reptile eyes, eyes like a lizard that weaves their spell. In addition to the products and endorsements, there are the endless exhibitions. In Hollywood, he is a great favorite and is offered a film contract. Clara Bow invites him for a private weekend and tells him to bring all his personalities. In Chicago, he meets heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey, who clowns with Zelig at his training camp. In Washington, D.C., he is introduced to both Calvin Coolidge and Herbert Hoover. In France, he is hailed as Le Lézard. He is the toast of the Parisian music halls. His performance endears him as well to many leading French intellectuals who see in him a symbol for everything. His transformation into a rabbi is so realistic that certain Frenchmen suggest he be sent to Devil's Island. At the Folie Bergère, Josephine Baker does her version of the chameleon dance and later tells friends she finds Zelig amazing, but a little lost. 